Hi, this is Jeff from Obedia, and today we're going to talk about some advanced editing techniques in Pro Tools. And I'm going to give out a lot of keyboard shortcuts, so you guys should definitely check this out. These shortcuts will make it virtually unnecessary to use the mouse when you've got some hardcore editing to do in Pro Tools. So let's dive right in. First of all, very important thing to understand about Pro Tools when editing is the grid and nudge functions. So they're up here at the top. And you'll want grid to be on because otherwise, as you can see, the grid lines disappear and you don't have as much to go by when you're editing. If you click the drop downs, you see different types of musical note values. We're in bars and beats. And if we were in minutes and seconds, it would then show different time increments. Same with time code and samples and everything else you see in that list. But we're going to stick with bars and beats. This has got 164th note and we'll leave that for now. That gives us a nice fine resolution for editing. The same with the nudge function. If you don't know what the nudge function is, that simply lets you nudge clips left and right to wherever you need them to go. Okay, and you can also set that to a different value or the same as grid. I recommend setting it to the same as what you have on grid. So let's dive right in. And we can change those with the keyboard. Now I'm on a PC, as you can see, so I'm going to be giving those shortcuts first, but I will also give the Mac shortcuts for everything I talk about today. So if you wish to change the grid value and just look up here as you can see the numbers change, we're going to use the Start Alt key in conjunction with the plus or minus key on the number pad. You do need to have a keyboard with a number pad to use a lot of these shortcuts, just so you know. So if I hold those down, as you can see, I'm changing the grid value with my keyboard. On a Mac, that would be Option and Control, and you add plus or minus on the number pad to make those values go up or down. Now, if you wish to change the nudge value on the PC, you'll hit Control, Alt, plus minus. And on the Mac, that would be Command, Option, plus minus on the number pad. Very useful, especially if you need to jump back and forth between different grid values, and that does happen from time to time. The next bunch that I'm going to talk about have to do with selections, extending them left or right by nudge value, and also trimming left or right by nudge value. Very useful shortcuts to know. So if I select from that part of the wave to the beginning, and maybe I just don't want to include as much of that, I can simply extend or reel in the selection by using shortcuts. So I'm going to hit Shift Alt plus minus. As you can see, that brings in the forward edge of the selection. If I do shift control plus minus, that will work on the rightmost edge of our clip selection. Then of course I can do whatever I want, delete, duplicate, but I've not made a cut in the wave. I'm just working with selections. And notice I don't even have a selection and I can start one from scratch. Pretty cool stuff. Now, once you've made a selection and you just wish to trim that up without even touching the mouse, what you can do is hold Alt on Windows or Option on the Mac with the plus minus key again, and you can trim that back in. Pretty useful stuff. Now, if I use just Control instead of the Alt on the PC, I can roll up the right edge. On the Mac, of course, that would be Command plus or minus. Now, the next one I want to talk about is a really interesting one, and a lot of you may not be aware that this is even possible to do in Pro Tools. You can actually move the underlying audio in a clip if you wish to, you know, if you wish it to start and stop at the same point, but you want to use another section of it. The way you do that is on a PC, you hit the Start key plus and minus. On the Mac, it would be the Control key plus or minus. So that's a really cool one. So in closing, I'd just like to say, yes, these are advanced shortcuts. They use two to three modifiers plus a mouse click. If you just simply memorize them, and there's only a handful that I've gone through here, you will speed up your workflow tremendously when doing a lot of repetitive editing tasks in Pro Tools. So this is Jeff from Obedia. Thanks for checking out the video. Yeah.